Change may not be uh, fast and it isn't always easy, but with time and effort, almost every ha uh, any habit can be reshaped. Um, this quote uh, uh, reflect, reflects the uh, approach, um, my approach to this project. Uh, and I want to tell a personal story about my grandfather. He passed away last year. Um, and um, he had several strokes uh, after which he got a vascular dementia. So he was taking four pills, uh, four different pills, uh, three times a day. And since dementia was progressing, he um, started losing his memory. So he couldn't remember um, to take his pills on time. Uh, my grandmother was the one who was supporting him uh, for more than uh, 10 years with dementia, but um, it was really uh, hard to um, keep that regime. So observing that for more than a decade, I realized that uh, new technology could be very beneficial for him. Um, and the problem I am trying to solve um, is uh, that the gesture-based interfaces lack accessibility for elderly first-time users who experience issues with cognitive and physical abilities. Um, some statistics. Um, dementia. Uh, in 2014, 35 million people are suffering today. Um, it's going to triple in 2050. Um, by 2030, uh, one-fifth of the population of the U.S. are going to be 65 years and older. Um, so the research uh, that was done in uh, May 2011 by the Pew Research Center shows that uh, more than uh, uh, around 11 percent of the elderly users of the elderly population use smartphones. Um, the percentage grew from 11 to 13 uh, during the year. Uh, my surveys in December 2013 um, show that uh, 64 people were asked and 17% 7 of them are using smartphones, so the demand grows. Uh, I am uh, using Maslow's hierarchy for, uh, of needs um, to support my research um, and um, the uh, basic needs are um, uh, since the basic needs are already met, uh, my research covers psychological and self-fulfillment needs as well as cognitive needs. Um, so uh, social needs like uh, being connected to uh, loved ones, uh, need for independence, need for achievement, uh, and per personal growth. Um, the motivational drivers of the users are, uh, main motivational drivers are connection, health, and entertainment, connection to their loved ones, uh, health uh, activities and um, reminders, entertainment such as social media or news, and um, there are different types of learners and they learn in different types of environments. Um, some uh, elderly prefer to learn by him, by themselves alone. Others uh, in intimate environment. Others uh, prefer to learn with a peer in a private environment. Um, other people, other elderly people, uh, prefer to learn in a social environment. Um, and the universal principles of learning um, are supporting my research, identifying the what, uh, the how, and the why of learning process. Um, based on uh, the interviews uh, and the people I talked to and I met, I um, created this personas. And uh, Maggie takes four pills every three hours, and she needs a pill reminder to take her medications on time. Robert lives with his wife, but his uh, children live abroad, so he wants to be more connected to them. Nancy uh, lives alone, so she wants to uh, have more access to social media and health applications. Um, then I developed a mind map um, connecting my uh, the issues I'm trying to solve, the drivers of the users, the um, skills they are going to get, um, the environment they are learning in, and the end result. And the solution uh, I came up with is an educational experience that teaches the uh, seniors the core actions for uh, touchscreens to promote their confidence and independence in using technology. 
It incorporates the environments they learn and the main drivers. Um, make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler, said Albert Einstein. This is the um, inspiration for my uh, application. And the user experience of the uh, application is um, uh, built, uh, is, uh, includes three uh, main uh, steps. The first uh, three um, identify the what, the how, and the why of the, uh, of the uh, application. So on the first um, screen, the user sees, uh, reads, uh, what is it? The, on the third, second, he uh, reads, why should he use it? On the third one, uh, how? And then um, there, uh, uh, the second stage, when he got to the point when he is ready to use the application, um, he, uh, has a, uh, he can practice the basic gestures, the five basic gestures I came up with. Um, and the last stage is uh, more complex uh, interfaces and more complex actions. So um, the user uh, sees the application. On this stage, um, uh, the, he needs uh, help of a uh, person uh, to download the application to have it on the main screen. So um, he opens it um, and uh, he reads what, uh, what he can learn. Two um, s stages, basic gestures and core actions. Um, he doesn't have much space, uh, he doesn't have many uh, uh, options in navigation, so he can either go uh, back or forward. Um, so he clicks the next, um, the arrow, uh, which is next, and reads why, uh, the, connect, the main drivers that can uh, motivate him to use this. Connection to stay in touch with loved ones, health, use activities and reminders, entertainment, be informed and uh, share. Uh, and uh, the, uh, when the user is ready to start, uh, he sees the basic gestures that he's going to learn. Um, he sees uh, the help button um, that's in the uh, bottom uh, right corner and the green bold uh, option and a um, small finger that points uh, leads um, to do an action. Um, on the uh, fifth screen, uh, when uh, the user is uh, started uh, practicing the first uh, basic gesture, um, he sees the interactive um, guide that is showing how to do that action. Um, so he can also go back um, to the previous screen, see his progress, or ask for help. Um, Basing on the behavior change uh, principles, uh, the reward is an important part of the process. So uh, when, the, uh, when the task is done correctly, uh, the person sees the correct, um, uh, the, the correct uh, message that uh, shows him the reward. Also an interactive uh, message. If the action is done incorrectly, um, he sees that feedback and goes uh, and needs to pr to do this, that step again, to tap again. Uh, on the seventh screen, um, the person can see the progress um, to be motivated um, uh, to, to see where how many steps uh, are left. And um, again, the um, the go or the green uh, bold button that shows what's the next step. Uh, and the last, um, uh, the second and, and last uh, part of the application is practicing applicable, having applicable uh, practice. So uh, the person, uh, the user sees um, the iOS uh, calendar that can help him to set up a reminder, the basic way to set up a pill reminder. So he practices uh, that uh, the uh, setting up a reminder uh, with the guidance of the application, uh, and whenever the uh, process is done, he is ready to um, go and explore more applications. Um, and the user feedback on this stage, I tested uh, the application on paper with paper. -based. Great, fantastic! Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you.
I'm, I'm not known for my subtlety when it comes to cutting off. But um, <laughs> fact that we have five minutes for questions, so please, judges. Let me. So the older user who does have a smartphone but doesn't know how to use a basic application like a calendar, it's expected that they would know how to find this app and download it and, and start from the beginning, or is there another no, person that, that's necessary? Uh, in that part, uh, f uh, finding the application and downloading, uh, needs the, the person needs the assistance, unless uh, the uh, there is an agreement with Apple uh, that can install uh, the application. So when the user uh, launches the application for the first time, he sees it right away. So that's the strategy. Uh, but um, the, at, at this point, if, since it's, it's not there yet, um, it needs to be downloaded by his um, caregiver or supporter. You didn't get a chance to get to the business model, so how does this get paid for? What's it cost, and uh, how do you sustain a company? Um, so it's going to be a free application for the users, um, and um, the uh, development of it, um, uh, th there is going to be a front-end, back-end developer, and uh, I would do uh, user experience design, so it's, it's um, it should be uh, around $50,000 to develop the application, and then the users can use it for free. Excellent. More questions? I had a quick one. Is it also for iPads as well as these form factors? Absolutely. Mo mo um, tablets and smartphones. Yeah. Because there's mm -hmm. a lot of users, uh, elder users who use tablets. And Excellent. Well, we are. Out of question. If there's no more questions from the audience, one at the back. Great. Yeah, testing, um, oh, just hold on one second, please. We have a microphone. Uh, regarding your user testing, were the older population able to navigate successfully through the screens and able to actually tap on each one of those? But yeah, so um, the, I, I tested it only with the, on the uh, basic uh, with a paper. Um, prototypes right now I'm, uh, in the process of development an interactive prototype so um, I'll uh, have a chance to test it um, uh, on, on a smartphone but um, I was I'm working with 60 plus club at San Francisco State University Almavia and um, Hearth Homes and um, a community uh, living um, and uh, the feedback was very positive. Um, the main drivers are really um, are really driving uh, the elderly. They want to be connected with their grandchildren and children who often live abroad. They want to have uh, take medications more accurately, and they want to sh have find the information and be able to share it. So um, the feedback was positive. I think there was one more question here at the front. So when you think about your grandmother, um, do you envision it would be for her so she could use it to help your grandfather remember his pills? Or are you envisioning this, that someone with dementia would actually learn how to use it and actually use it for themselves? I'm envisioning it for people with dementia and other uh, cog uh, d uh, diseases that influence on uh, cognitive and physical abilities. So uh, that's why it's it's just a two-level experience and um, every step is guided by an interactive um, cue, a clue that shows how to do that action. So um, I'm still working on simplifying um, the uh, experience, but that's the goal. The goal is um, to teach the users the very basic actions so they can they can um, use it in their daily life. All right, well, with that, we're out of time. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.